Vigo County School Corporation says it has started to develop a plan on how it will move forward following the failed referendum back in the May election. Yeah, you may remember the $261 million referendum that was voted down had been proposed to pay for things like renovations and improvements at the three high schools. Shelby Riley sat down with the superintendent for VCSC and the principal of Terre Haute North about what's next for those schools. Are your students, are your faculty comfortable in their work environment? Due to the outdated and sometimes failing HVAC systems in the high school, Terre Haute North Principal Steve Joseph's answer to that question is not really. It really plays havoc on our kids, not knowing how to dress and trying to concentrate on what the teacher's talking about and worrying about sweating or freezing in the classroom. Superintendent Rob Hayworth says following the referendum that was voted down in the May election, he believes VCSC now has a path forward to improve the high schools using dollars they currently have. Those dollars that we would have available are federal dollars uh, as a result of the pandemic. Here in the schools, we call them ESSER dollars. Dr. Hayworth says these dollars can be used for HVAC air quality, so the school corporation has submitted a new proposal to the federal government explaining that would be the use for those dollars. Uh, that has been approved, and so we're going to be gathering proposals uh, from contractors, architectural firms, to assist us in trying to find maybe some out-of-the-box thinking on how to address our HVAC systems without being disruptive to the school day. Dr. Hayworth says the HVAC systems in the high schools have had a history of failing for about a decade, and this has to be addressed before they begin any other cosmetic changes. Principal Joseph says something either failing or not working has become a frequent occurrence. It's, it's on a daily basis. We might have a uh, bathroom closed because something stopped up, uh, just not working properly. It, that's a big issue, and hopefully that's going to be tagged along with the HVAC and get the plumbing taken care of. Joseph says he thinks the HVAC and plumbing is a great place to start, but there's still a lot of work to be done. You know, we just need an update, uh, a facelift. Uh, the buildings were built in the, in the 70s, early 70s, and uh, they show their time, show their wear, and it's been a lot of kids through here. Dr. Hayworth says another big component will be on the school board and how they want to move forward with the high school since there are currently four seats up for grabs. He says he hopes to start the HVAC and plumbing project sometime in the spring.